Hello and welcome back to Detroit Become Human and we are back with Kara in the motel who's waking up next to Alice and of course today's um, plan of action I guess is to try and get across town to the safe haven that we were told about uh, by the waste disposal android. So getting up uh, we're going to have to think about what to do. Obviously we've got to care for Alice, we've got to evade the authorities, um, possibly disguise herself. There's all sorts of bits and pieces to do and um, yeah it's going to be a little bit uh, of a problem uh, getting away now. I mean obviously we're obviously an android we know we're probably being looked I'm for so we're you. definitely going to need to so uh, get a head. disguise and uh, I'm not sure the disguise no. we had last night's uh, going to be quite enough no, but uh, you never know so anyway we have a little bit of a chat with Alice here and we can decide you know are we going to give her a bath a nice make her sleep back. maybe give her something to eat and so anyway a bath to seems to be a popular Easy. option with Alice so there you go so we've got to go run the, the bath and my concern with that was um, you know is the bath water going to overrun and attract attention uh, and of course um, you know that, that would be bad now the water effect here sadly uh, is not the best so um, that's something that they could work on for the next game engine but Kara has obviously noticed herself in the mirror and thinking well you know I'm a little bit obvious here so let's grab some scissors and modify my hair and of course because we've got this like semi chameleon ability we can also change our hair color you'll be pleased to hear and now we've got to do all sorts of weird and wonderful keyboard combos to start the cutting and then it thankfully just takes over so there you go snip 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 new haircut and what colour do we fancy? Now we've got like uh, blonde, black, white. So I've gone with a dark black, so a bit of kind of blue blood magic. And there you go, nice new hair colour. Now the um, little doobry in our temple, that's uh, going to need to be popped out because that's a little bit of a giveaway. So yeah, we can use the scissors to remove it and yeah not the most pleasant experience but there you go it's gone so there you go we look much more human now bath still running so uh, yeah let's stop that I think perfect temperature I'm guessing so back into the bedroom and oh bit of cartoon action going on you really look like a human now. And it's still raining. Your bath's ready. Now, apparently, uh, a lot of Quantic Dream games do have uh, little cartoons in them, so that's a nice little throwback. And, of course, you know, there's uh, android animals as well as android humanoids, so, uh, yeah, there you go. And... Our other story is Canada Android Free Zone, so uh, that's something for us to consider. Maybe we should get ourselves to Canada. Now the painting on the back wall there um, probably has some significance. I can't quite remember what it is and we can actually change TV channels. So let's see what's going on. Maybe there's some news about stuff. So this is an underwater action going on, a marathon. And oh, Thanks, that's Michael. us. I'm joined by that doesn't look good. Todd, Williams, who was violently attacked by his Todd was violently attacked. 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Mm. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Okay. Let's hope they find it fast. We uh, hope that Alice hasn't heard that. So. Uh... It's not true. Oh dear, she did. She's lying. 
He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we gonna do? Oh dear. We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Well, let's go across town. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Yep, yeah, Alice isn't feeling too hot, poor little thing. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Well, the storyline with Kara's say, you really get to feel this sort of bond between the child and the kind of surrogate mother, so nice little tug on I'll the old heartstrings. So anyway, let's get out and about and hopefully move on with our life and get to the safe haven. So let's get some breakfast. Um, I doubt there's much in here, so let's go outside, get some lovely food. Happy days, and uh, oh, that doesn't look good. Hold on, is that Connor? Oh, that really doesn't look good. Right, time to bug out of here, I think. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No, I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck, I knew there was something weird. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's not good. Well. Ben, yeah, still at the motel. Since looks like we're in control of Connor now. Let's uh, get moving. You wait in the car. You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Mm -hmm. Hanks, really not liking Connor, but let's follow him anyway, because, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Now, Connor's not that interested in that uh, bit of uh, graffiti. Yeah, well, Kara's gone. It's gone. So we're now back in control of Kara, and we're going to try and catch a train. Unfortunately, there's rather a lot of um, police in our way, so um, yeah, we're going to have to take an alternative route now. This scene is playing out differently to my first playthrough because I actually hid in a different location um, the last time I played it. So, although it's similar to um, the scene that I had before, it is subtly different. And uh, as I've mentioned in a couple of the other scenes, that's great to see that there is some nice little variation within um, each scene based on previous discussions. So, yeah, need to keep away from these police officers. Oh, didn't quite reach that. There you go, that's better. Uh, there's another cop 
there, so can we cross it's looking green? Let's go for it. Well, we're almost there, look at that. Um, but, oh, hold on, is that some cops ahead? Well, we, we don't seem to be able to cross back over the road here, so I'm not sure if you could cross back over the road on the junction. No, anyway, we've just walked straight past the police officers and they've suddenly gone, hold on. Quick, call it in. Which way did it go? Okay, that way. Connor's got station. an alert, so he is in pursuit. Now, we don't need to worry about any uh, police officers. We can just run for it and track them down. They're over there! Oh, there they are. And where are they going? They are heading somewhere. Oh, it looks like they're heading to the motorway. That doesn't look good. Don't shoot, we need it alive. Now Kara's got to decide what to do here. So um yeah. Running across a six lane or is it more yeah, six lane freeway. Not a good idea. But hey, we're an android. Oh, fuck. That's insane. So, yeah, I think you can kill yourself on this scene. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I think the first time I did it, I got hit hey, a few more times. Anyway, Connor's desperate to pursue. Hey, oh, and never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. So is Connor going to go? go after him, Connor. That's an order. I've been given an order by a human, so I decide to stay put. And I'm not very happy about that. But anyway, Kara's going to be happy about it, assuming she can get across these last three lanes. And yeah, she um, gets a little clip. But I think we're going to make it. Yeah, just about made it. And we're in the clear. Excellent. So, onwards to the next scene. And poor old Connor. He's failed a mission again. Uh, I don't think Amanda's going to be very pleased with that, but hey, we, we can at least blame Hank, hey? Okay, well, see you in the next video for Detroit Become Human.